Alright, how's it going everybody? Bagla here, back again with another episode of Building with Bagla. Um, so, I know it's been a little while since I've gotten a video out, and I know I've done a ton of stuff in Creativeverse, especially here a good little bit. So I think on this episode I'll do a little bit of a rundown as to what I've all done on this base as well as going through the actual elevator because now I know Code has started to do his logic episodes. The little thief. All of a sudden I start on my channel and he dives into logic, huh? Alright. Two can play at that game, Code. Did I just see him fly up here? I'm not sure. I'll have to watch the video again. Alright, uh... So I've pretty much finished up a second cannon. Gotta get some glass for that. Still need a lot of gold wood and a good bit of white wood. Because, I mean, I've started my third cannon, but I'm running out of wood. So if you got some, let me know. I will buy it off of you guys. And I will pay a decent price, because I'm desperate. I need it. I'm also going to need a lot more wires, because I'm about to start wiring this whole thing up. Because this up here is going to be my control room. Uh, each switch is going to control which cannon gets loaded. And then this is going to be a button to fire it with. And I'm still kind of debating. I'm planning on thinking of doing like another switch or a button on this side. And hook it up to like some wires or some mold and brash or something. Just kind of a watch out, here it comes kind of thing. Alright, uh, so that's about it for up top. Let's jump on down. I'm starting at the top because it's so much easier to go down than it is to go up. So much faster. So I've got my saws on here. I'm probably going to need more. I can almost guarantee it. Uh, I started to wire them up. I got the wire ran kind of going up top already-ish. I still got to do a whole lot more with that. So hopefully that should work out pretty well. I think I'm probably going to have to shrink that size because uh, I know Trucker has built a little cannon. A little tiny guy where it's on the ground, he's got a loop of conveyors that dice it all up, and then he's got a massive conveyor system that just, like, travels it up in the air to this little tiny cannon. We did a test fire on one server once. <laughs> uh, it took, like, a half an hour for that little bit of wood to travel up there for a small shot. It was, like, two or three trees. I'm looking to try and store about five to six trees minimal on here, because my cannons are even bigger than his cannon. I'm missing a corner there. Oh, come on! Come on! Now i got to tear that whole thing apart again. Dang it! At least the front end of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so in here, I still have to do more with these little bits and build the walls here before this is actually functionable. As well as I gotta build the sorting system up top. But these guys, you guys have already seen, and I'm not gonna dive into the actual details yet. That'll be for another day. My elevator, let's go ahead and just jump on down here. Oh, don't get caught in it. No, quick turning. Ugh. Go out. Such small spaces. Claustrophobia! So, alright. Um. Let me see here. You guys all know on that junk, everything's nothing's really changed all too much down here. <laughs> office is still the same. Good old office. Alright, so this logic gate. Let's dive into that because this is kind of my crown jewel right now. My cannons and everything will probably be my crown jewel later on. But logic-wise, this guy's my crown jewel right now. So what we've got is all these buttons here represent those buttons there. I've just split it up so that it's a whole lot easier to see, spot, and do stuff with. So these three here are the correct combination. Any one of these guys will lock you out. That is some gnarly wiring. Holy cow. I am amazed that that... Does that even actually work? Nope, I don't think so. Wow. 
What have I? Wow, that worked. That one worked now. What the heck? Is the leg just that bad? But, oh my goodness, I'm amazed that that actually works. Well, okay, back to it. So, <clears throat> your three switches. The first one you want. So this is the first button you should have to push, because that goes into a sustain, which then increases the length of the signal for the next button to be pressed. Because, especially with lag, if you go at it with just a button into an AND gate, you're not going to push two buttons fast enough. So you push this, it goes into a sustain, gives you a couple extra seconds. So in which case then it's one, and then two. And then that should go into the next sustain, which then will give you another couple of seconds to press button number three. So it's a one, two, three. And then that goes on, which goes into, these are AND gates in the middle. So it's a this button and that button have to be pressed in order for this to go to the sustain, which then goes into another AND gate which says then the last button and the first two buttons have to be pressed in order for it to go into this sustain which is then the length of how long the door or whatever object you want to open is um, so now that's just building a three button combination thing that's nothing to do with the lockout that's just a yeah I'll press these three things in order to turn on this I mean you can use that in switches you can use that in buttons you can use that in just kind of a secret thing where you hit three things over your base and all of a sudden the secret door over here pops open. You can do something like that with that. Um, when you add in this half here, the, these other buttons, this sustain, yes, this sustain, then, now that's where it gets tricky after this, because that sustain says that if you hit the wrong button at all for any length of time that is the sustain, the door is locked. You can't get in. So you want to have that being about as long as this signal here, or longer. Because then that's a... You can still enter all the correct buttons, but if you've hit a bad one, you're not getting in for quite a while. So now this wiring here is the tricky part. In order to determine a open signal when just the right half, just the correct combination is open, what you're going to need is an AND gate and an XOR gate and a inverter. That will then allow you to do this. All you do is you take the bad signal, you go into an inverter, and then into the AND gate. You have to do the inverter on the AND gate. If you do it any other way, it will not work. And then you cross the other half of that one as well over to the XOR. And you do the same sort of thing with the correct signal. You just do not invert the one going into the AND gate. Because what that does is, when this one's off, this one's on. So then it'll match up with the on signal. But if you hit one of these, this will flip to off, and that'll deny the signal there. <clears throat> Actually, I may be able to simplify this. What happens if I remove these two wires? Let's play around with this real quick. Got me an idea. Because honestly, this should work. But I just don't know if it'll work fast enough, or if it'll work correctly. So, I'll do it the worst possible way. I'll hit two correct, one bad, come back for a correct. I thought I saw a little micro burst of a signal, but I didn't see this come on. Oh, it's because it's going into an gate. Duh. But if that signal then came on, then yeah, it would still come ringing positive. Alright, so that won't work. That's why I had it that way. Duh. Don't go fixing your original stuff. You got it right. Don't fix it. Jeez. What's wrong with me? Why did that just happen like that? 
So, yeah, then the other part of this video, what I was thinking of doing, is playing some Creativers. So, hopefully that will go over real well with you guys, because I just want to show off some of that stuff in there, and then I promise I will get out more videos a lot quicker. I know it's been a little while, it's been a little crazy for me at work and everything. So this will get us all caught up, and then I'll come out with at least a video every probably two to three days for sure. Probably even one of each every two to three days. Alright, come on. Go down, wire! Alright, well it doesn't want to go down. It'll go down about five minutes. So what this does is, yeah, then, positive signal, positive signal, negative signal, negative, no, positive signal. So, because it being an XOR, it only needs one or the other, but not both. So, when this is on, that'll be on, this'll be on, this'll be on. So, these two will both send out a positive signal going into an AND gate, which will then go into the, the wiring. If this gets flipped on at all, this one gets turned off, the AND gate shuts off. This one gets turned on, so this will send a positive signal, unless this is also sending a positive signal. Uh, if this sends a positive signal, this one will still be sending a negative signal because of the inverter. It needs to have this one being turned off in order for this to send a positive signal. And it needs both of them to send the signal onto the gate. I know I probably just confused half of you. So if you need any explanations, teachings, showings, I've already helped one other person at least install this in their base. Let me know. Get a hold of me. Uh, come to me with this, these items if you want this exact system. You need four sustains, four AND gates, one XOR gate, and one inverter. Plus all the buttons, switches, pressure pads, whatever you want to activate it, and all the wires. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 wires plus whatever it takes to connect to your objects if you want this exact system, buttons and all. Alright, so I think that's all I'm going to really do on here because I don't have any wood and I'm not going to just sit here and wire things up and show you guys that at least right now unless uh, you guys want to see that, let me know. So let's go ahead and jump on over towards Creativerse. So let me open that up real fast here. I'll keep on running around in this for a little bit until that goes. Actually, I probably should close this. I'm gonna lag. I'm gonna lag real bad. Go to Roblox. Close. OBS. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the music, too. Trying a new thing. Let me know if it's too loud, too quiet, too crackly. Alright, got Creativerse going up here. So, again, I'm in Dark J server. I know he always puts up the links in the discords, in his streams, and his other videos, all that sort of stuff. He's got a ton of people in here. There's over a hundred and... Uh, I don't remember, 100 and something, 150, 160. It's crazy. Oh my goodness. Chat's already blowing up. How many people do we have? There's six, oh, 146. Duh, it's right in the bottom there. And there's six online right now. All right. So, I know during his live streams, he goes around and he looks around at people's bases. I know this last week, and he stopped in my base. I know everybody was saying that he's got to do it. He barely even poked around. He didn't even find my troll. I was going to do a troll in through here. Alright, so... It's been quite a while since you guys have seen what I've done. Uh, I'm already forgetting about that. So, yeah. I've been busy. And... Had next to no life for a little while here. It sucked me in and it sucked me in big time. Alright, so, me and Dad have been working on a base. 
we've gotten these four plots, and thank you guys for Mooners and Nathaniel and all you guys that are allowing me to build on these plots, because I know a lot of you guys have been building around me to want to be here. But I can't do a whole lot if I don't have a lot of territory. So Mooners went and just spent so much on land, and he's given me permissions. So I'm kind of repaying him slash building something cool right up over in here. Actually, I believe I've already built it. I will show you guys that in a second. It's it's going to be even better than it currently is, and it's already nice. All right, so that tree is still whole. I want that thing to keep growing for me. So this is my place. I'm going to build something awesome right up over there. You guys are just going to have to wait and see on that one. Let's just go turn my lights on. So I've put a sensor here for these doors. So those doors will automatically open and close as people get close to them. My sensor... Oh, one down. Durr. I don't even remember where I'm putting my sensor. It's right here. So the way to do sensors is once you've built them, you place them. You have your wiring tool. That's the box. You step inside of this box, those doors open. You leave it, they close. The way you set those boxes up, you hit N when you're on any electronic when they're uh, in here. And you set the height width length. I put it for players because then creatures won't open it. You can do showing messages. And then it's you just hook up your in and outs with the doors. I recommend labeling your doors and stuff. Guys, please don't use that because I will probably change that code there anyway. Because I'm sure someone's probably going to try and hook up to it. Just as a troll. And then, yeah, like this one here, I have it just to display this message. And same with this one. You can see that little message right down in here. Oh, excuse me. I'm stuffed up today. And I got my teleporter room, my healing beacon. Going to battles, just run back through here, get healed up. All my crafting stuff. Uh, yeah, I got all my ores and bars and crafting supplies, all that sort of junk. My seeds and everything are there as well. My little storage area. Now, this is going to be an awesome little concept, I think, because I have built a free-for-all chest. What I'm doing with that is I'm just tossing some random stuff in there, some lobies, some newbies, some good. I mean, I've got an obsidian, some leather, obsidian leggings, all that sort of stuff. Just kind of some random little junk that I get on mobs that I don't really need, don't really want to throw them out. And got some cool stuff that I've tossed in there. I mean, I've had some old sets of armor that I've thrown in. I think I threw in a diamond sword in there once. Just kind of a see who is if anyone's watching. I think one or two people have claimed out of it. They just went and grabbed everything. So feel free to swing by, check it out, take a look at this, check out my base, uh, grab some stuff, drop some stuff off even. If you got some stuff that you don't want and you feel like donating it to the world, toss it in there. If I start to fill up that chest, I will throw in a bigger chest or multiple chests. So fill it up. I'll check it daily. Um, I got my pets over here. This is awesome. I mean, I need these keepers. Things. Where's my thing? Where? No, there's my thing. Okay, good. Get a thing. Oh my good, get a thing. These things are heavenly. They will make your life so easy. I've gotten arc chests. I've gotten... I need to give him food. And he likes soup, so I'm going to make me some corrupted soup. So, I mean, get yourself a thing. It's insane as to what I've gotten from him. I've gotten Arctech lights. Why did I just go back? Arctech lights, Arctech chests. It's so nice. Toss this back in here real quick. No, why am I pulling it out? No, I don't want to pull it up. I want to put it in. There we go. Hopefully, he'll be done and ready to collect by the time I'm done doing the video. So I'll feed him right now. And I'll come back and check them later. So every now and then, if they go missing, check up in the air. Because sometimes they'll bounce way up there. I try to keep them spread out. This is all my storage. Um, I believe I made this an interact for everyone. So everyone can see it. 
It's my box of shame. It's how many times I've died. Yeah, I know. I've died a lot. There's times where I just say, Meh, kill me, it's faster for me to port up there rather than try and come up here and heal up. So, yeah, I've died a lot. A lot of my storage, fossil layer, stone layer, lava layer, corrupted layer. So I've got all this stuff all nice and organized, books and pages. I've got tons of these. I might even toss some of these in those boxes if Dab doesn't need them. So Dab, if you're watching, check those things out. Take a look around, see what you got. Um, building supplies. I just did a huge build. And I'm amazed, actually, I had all the supplies in one run to do it. Well, not necessarily one run, but one sitting on bombs. Dab set up some of these bombs and everything. He did a lot of the actual startup of this, but then I kind of went through and relabeled and sorted them out and broke them all down. And I went swamps and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and Dab, quick message to you. I took the, these ones off here because I've actually already got all the crafting and craftable and crafted stuff all right in here. I labeled the chests on here, if you look right above there crafting materials or after the refinery stuff, so these are all the bars in it. Just take a look just take a look through those. Alright. Uh so I even did the surface stuff by the region it is, so it's a whole lot easier for me to find whatever I want. You just figure out where things are. Armory tech. I'm gonna be doing a ton of stuff with tech. I've been just kinda playing around with it a little bit so far. So, my master switch, I should have turned that on earlier. Oh, I got that turned off. That's right. And bah. So that's the only way that I've known of so far to make it so that only you or whoever you allow to activate things can do it. It's kind of a pain, but to keep your stuff safe, it's kind of needed. So this is something really cool here down here as well. So for cooking, you always need liquids. Each different type of liquid gives you a different type of product. So instead of just having a finite number of liquids being stored off in the chest or whatever, I know Mummy had started to do this before. She's got her little waterfalls in her base. I'm creating a room of every type of liquid. So I've got Corrupted. I was terrified to put this thing in here. I mean, absolutely mortified. I did not want to go near this stuff because I didn't know if it was an area of effect and it would corrupt things around it or if it had to touch and if it would corrupt what. And, uh, I, I was just, how can I do this? Can I do this? And is it going to kill me? So the way I did it, I literally put it inside of a glass box. Full on, not going nowhere, not touching nothing. Uh-uh, don't think about it. Glass box. So... Why did I only pick up one piece of glass when there was two panes of glass? Do I, what? What just happened? My glass just disappeared. Or, or, oh, those are slopes? Are those really slopes? Oh my goodness, did I really do that with slopes? Well, if I'm going to do it with slopes, let's do it right with slopes at least. Yeah, let's throw them down and then we'll turn them. There we go. That looks a lot better then. Okay. So, let's get rid of that. So that was there. And then lava. I was having troubles with lava too, because every now and then, like, I don't think I put the exact opposite corner, this, like, edge inside of the wall as the stone, because you have to put the, the hardened lava around it, otherwise this just hardens. And my bottom kept hardening, and it would spew out onto here, and it would spew out onto here, and it would spew out onto here, and it would spew out all the way out into here, and I'm like, oh my god! It just started filling up, like, half of this cavern down here. It was such a pain. So I just boxed that one into just not dealing with it no more. If these guys overflow, it's not the end of the world, but it's just a hard cleanup. So the way you do these, though, is actually, you go two tiles above. Oh, I gotta get out of here quick. Two tiles below. So the two tiles below makes it so that it doesn't spew over and onto this floor and all out into the world. So I've got my molasses, my tar, lava, mineral water, water, 
corrupted water. I gotta get bog water. I think that's the only one I'm still missing. So, my hot tub. Dad built a hot tub. I think you guys had seen it. I'm not sure. I, wow I uh, widened this a little bit back out here. So I've got my jungle layer, my... Why is that turned off? Darn it. My lava layer, going to be a corrupted layer. My desert oasis. My... Uh, Tundra, and this was my troll. This is my mountain peak area. Let's see here. I'm at 25 minutes right now. A couple more minutes. I should be able to make it through the rest of this base. So, as I said, just one video lumping everything all together. So, this is what I was hoping Dark J would go through. I was hoping he would just be kind of running through, checking everything out, taking a look at whatever. I get it, he didn't, he didn't have a whole lot of time, and I, I'm sure he knew me as well as not knowing what I've shown off. The fact that I've got a lot of stuff. So I was hoping he'd just come running through, fall out, out, and uh, end up like either hurting himself, freaking himself out, hitting the glider, freaking out, doing something. I was wanting to see his reaction. But he didn't even go through. It, uh. So... This is my mountain peak. It's safe if you can, if you know what you're doing. Now you guys do. I mean, I tossed a bunch of water on here to create a waterfall with a nice little landing pad, and teleporters on top. Um, so let's head on back. All right, now this is where it's going to get really cool here. So I think we found out that if you teleport from your plot to your plot, doesn't matter how far away it is, there is no loading bar. But if you're teleporting from your plot to a neutral or to somebody else's, there's that loading bar. So this is my little uh, experiment room, my uh, my coal farming room, whatever I want to call it. I don't know yet. I just toss a bunch of tar up here, freeze it all, and then hit it with fire if I want to. Dab set most of this stuff up for me. I just kind of changed it to match the rest of my base. So again, I've got another one of those sensors. I want to say that one is right in this corner. Yeah, got it right. So it's right there. Um, too, if you guys ever need to find stuff like that, put on your wiring glove. You can see the nodes. You can see where all the stuff is. It goes down a couple of layers. Because actually, I want to I wanna go back and do a run through with the wires so you guys can see what I've already all wired up. So this is kind of my back secret tunnel entrance exit passageway from my base all the way to Mooners. He's building his base over here. He's got a bunch of uh, death statues there. Oh, yes. Uh, just the other day I went through and I just forged an entire set of Lumite. It's so nice. Stuff just doesn't take damage anymore from or I just don't take damage anymore so that that is what I was working on I mean he we've got this awesome cove bay cavern -ness going on over here it's just bootyful it's going to be awesome I know he's writing a message up there I'm not sure exactly what it is but that's my fortress. I'm going to do a lot of upgrading to it. Right now, that's just the, the standard blueprint. I just built that as a base model to work off of. Whee! Splash. So I've got my entrance here. The gates. I literally, I was up far too late last night doing this. So it's just a, I finished it and walked away. Called it a night. My iron doors, my iron walls. Now, if only I can find a way to build a cannon on here. <laughs> All this stuff, my back doors, my my rooftop entrance. Ah, slipped off. And yes, this is how the blueprints called for it. One every other. Oh, come on. I might have to put one up on top there. All right, there we go. Jump on up. But yeah, this will be pretty awesome. Is that Bob? 
Hey, Bob. Yeah, I've been busy. I'm gonna be, uh, oh, uh, oh, okay, it did send the message. Alright. So, yeah, I'll be hopping on the Discord after this for sure, playing a little more games, just doing a recording right now. Ooh, that's all I was saying. Ooh, don't fall off, because I can hurt. So, yeah, I just gotta kinda round out the base of this, make it a little bit nicer, neater, cleaner looking. Ow! Why did I just do that twice to myself? Okay, must have been some issues with the Discord I haven't been in yet today. So yeah, this is this is awesome. I can't wait to to tinker and toy and play around and do so much more with. All right. Bit of that. Ugh, I can't even type now. Ah, that guy, guys. Durr. Oh, I really couldn't type. Did you send me any other messages? If you come to this, you will get five frames. What do you got going on for five frames? Alright, I'll have to check it out later. Um. I don't think I've done too much more other than maybe just a little bit in my mind. So let me jump on down to the lava layer. If I can get through that door. i got to make that door wider. So I'm just going to jump down to the lava layer here real quick. And run down to my corrupted. Oh, I know what i got to show you guys. My corrupted just kind of expanded. But, what I had started to do... Oh, there's a bad guy there. I'll have to kill him was I started layering things. I started labeling and layering some actual mining floors. Because as I was going down here every now and then, I would... Ooh, 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 yeah. That's why I turn my lights off every night, guys. Because those chests, they'll spawn. So you just kind of come running in through. You check out the mine. You can kill some creatures, get some stuff. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yep, up and down that way. Alright, so let me actually start up up here again. Wiring. This is this is the craziness that is my base for wiring. Just zones everywhere for sensors. And that's my master switch. That disco ball of a thing is my master switch. Like, ah, do not go into the light! Just so many zones, just everywhere. Right. This is the crazy part. It's awesome when you're just walking down here with this out. I gotta kill this guy though. Brrr, die. Give me your goods. Alright, we already checked that. So, I have the stalactite and the lava layer. Oh, another guy? How many of you are there down here already? Like, I turned the light on like a day ago. You guys are all supposed to have disappeared. Tame you though. Those worms are so nice. I always love taming them because they give me a lot of stuff that I need. Tame, tame, tame. Give me all you have to offer. Come on, tame. 20 seconds. Okay, I can live with that. Do, 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 do. happened to my music? Did my playlist run out? I'm at 34 minutes. Oh, just a quiet song. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that one. It's too quiet. Okay. Alright, well, done with that for now. 
So I had my Tarler, and I had actually gotten one of those times where you could see through the ground. And I spotted this back here. Oh, no, wrong one. There we go. Just go there, 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 there. A nice little cavern. I gotta dig a lot of this out and find out what's all here. And it's another pretty extensive, massive, huge, ginormous cavern. I mean, I, I, I don't know if it has an end. I mean, I'm two plots of land away from my base, and you start by going all the way up here. Something's coming for me. Brr. So, yeah, it's like three, three and a half plots long, at least, minimal, and it just... I see no end. None. It even splits off. Die, Maru, die. Just, yeah, I don't even want to go anymore until I actually start getting some more lights and everything in here. I'll do that later on when I can actually take some time, dig through it, figure out what's there. And then the one other thing that I still have to show you guys to get you caught up. Er, stop, go, go, turn, jump. I gotta do the glass slopes on all this still, though. Splash. Is this portion. This is another little bit of the mine that I'm still... Working on building and placing. Ooh, that's a bad guy. Let's just keep going. I want your stuff. Ow. Ow, I'm on fire. That hurt. God, I love that Lumite armor. Alright, so that is pretty much my base for the time being. Oop. So that's what I've got all going on for now. Um, I will definitely be doing some more builds. I've got some craziness to show you, actually, real quick here. Because this is the one that I wanted to build over on that other side, but it was just too dang huge. So I couldn't even fit it in there. So I'm going to build this as my mountaintop. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha uh, ha ha. 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 This thing is just... It's gonna take me a while. That's... That is for sure. I mean, this thing is just huge. Ow. Just trying to get a good look at it. The blue doesn't help it. Right, let me see here. How many items is this? Is it gonna tell me at all? Suck it up, can I tell me? Uh, it doesn't tell me how many items. Alright, what about the blueprints? Does it tell me in the blueprints? 3,550 blocks. I built this thing with 617. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. What am I signing myself up for? Oh no. Uh. Uh huh. Six, almost seven times. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to build that anytime soon. It's going to take me a little while to actually start accumulating stuff. I, do, I, I keep doing that. I hit F on the doors as I'm trying to run through. All right. So that is going to be doing it for the day today, guys. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, if you want to see more tech stuff in here, if you want to see more crazy build stuff in here, you want to see more stuff in lumber. You guys excited for Cannon Wars? Ooh, yeah, the thing. I forgot about the thing. We got to check the thing. Yeah, he's ready. All right, let's see what I get this time. So you just click in on and hold on it to collect. Ooh. Lava wall recipe. Some extractors. Dust. Do I already have that recipe? Where'd that recipe go? There it is. Ooh, I already have it unlocked. Okay. So a hardened level wall. 
That looks pretty cool. I'll have to make some of those. Ooh, iron rods. Eee. Seems expensive. For lava wool? Okay. Let me just close this back on up. Alright, so that's going to do it. Have a good one, guys. Don't forget, take a look at this free for all. I'm probably going to have to throw down another two or three chests because this is going to, I got a feeling this is going to take off. Alright, let me know what you think of it, guys. Have a good one.